watching Independent Chick. I'm your host, Dana Foster, and now we're talking about business and finances. And so I had to call on my friend, Joelle Foster, to give me the info on business and finances. Where do I start? Do you start with finances when you're working on your business plan? Yes, I mean, the first thing you have to think about when you're starting a business is you have to look at your own credit. Mm -hmm. And I find that as many people that we say yes to to come through our program, we have to say no because of their bad credit. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have a certain beacon score or a certain um, a BNI score in order to get funding. And uh, a lot of young people and a lot of women, mm -hmm. s especially who are married, who might not have their own uh, credit, right. just don't have that in place. So there are certain steps that you have to start taking. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. I'm trying to start my business. I've been running it for about a couple years. This is an extension of that. And for me, I think that the cash flow and figuring out the finances were the biggest parts of really what make my business run, but I'm finding I ha I'm having the most hiccups with that part and trying to figure it out. So what sort of steps with m I, I take or somebody like me who's trying to start a business and it have it be their sole income, what okay. are your steps? And because I've made so many mistakes with my finances as a youth that I'm trying to now take charge of as an independent <laughs> chick, um, what would my steps be is really to Okay. Well, a lot of young a lot of young people when they're starting their business, they call it bootstrapping. That means you rack up credit cards and you rack up lines of credit <laughs> trying to pay for things. Yeah. Because you didn't you didn't do it you didn't structure it properly in yeah. the first place. So I mean, we can talk about credit a little bit later. But when it comes to the cash flow, what you should do, and I find that because this this intimidates a lot of people, yeah. is when you got your cash flow and you got the template there. Start putting in your expenses first, because mm -hmm. those are fixed. You know if you've got rent, you know that if you've got a cell phone, or there's certain things that you have to pay every month in terms of your business. Mm -hmm. Then you have to look at your own budget. Have you ever done a budget, like your personal budget? I have, but following it is a different thing. Okay, okay, so yeah. <laughs> um, I have my budget in it's Excel. Not funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, so put your budget in Excel. What do you have to pay yourself in order to keep a roof over your head and not eat macaroni every that day. That is the thing. <laughs> that is a, that is exactly it. Because okay. I'm going. Wait a minute. I've I've have made a lot. I've done a lot. Why am I here? Okay. It because was the cash flow. Well, it was the cash flow. So you put your expenses in. You put what you have to pay yourself. Now you've got a total. I wasn't paying myself. <laughs> then you've got to look at, okay, my expenses are $5,000 a month, let's say. Yeah. So now you know that your revenue that you have to make at least five grand every month. So now you've got to start breaking that down into either daily or weekly. How many clients is that? How many sales do I have to make? How many appointments? You know, how many shoots? And you have to actually break it down. That means if I have to do four a week, then you need to get a great big whiteboard. You've got to start putting that on there and say, okay, week one, I've got to do four, four shoots. Mm -hmm. And you've got to make those targets or you know that you're not going to be able to pay yourself at the end of the month. And that's so what serious. people are doing wrong. It's, you are like, this is what's oh, happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just got whipped into shape. What are the biggest mistakes that women in business make and what is the quickest way to correct those mistakes? One of the big things that I've noticed women coming through is there's a lot of women that get married very young. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they're putting everything in their husband's name. The, the mortgage, the visa, mm -hmm. the truck, the car. Yep. And what yep. happens is if you divorce, Mm -hmm. You've got nothing. But nothing. even women who are married are coming to me and they've got no credit background whatsoever. And I'm, I'm just shocked. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've been married 22 years. We've always had a joint bank account because we got mm -hmm. married young. Mm -hmm. But I've always had my own credit. So you have to start establishing your credit. And that starts with a pre-approved uh, credit card that you give the bank $500. They give you a credit card. You start building your credit. Buying an RRSP because mm -hmm. it's a set loan will actually help increase your credit. All right, so, so ladies, that's the, the first thing to do. And when, when it comes to business and getting uh, investors to invest in your business, they're going to be looking at your finances? Well, they're not gonna look at your credit, okay. but they are going to look at your cash flow. They're gonna wanna see your business plan. They're gonna want to see that 
you're doing everything right. Because investors, I mean, it's part about the finances, but it's part about you too. They're right. looking at, do I want to invest in Dana? In this person. You know, does she have the passion? Is she going to make this work? Mm -hmm. So it has a lot to do with personality. <laughs> and I, yeah, I, <laughs> I want to invest in you. Yes! Yes! I'm halfway there. Okay, now if people want to sit with you or get more advice, where can they go? Okay, well, um, we were formerly called the Canadian Youth Business Foundation, or CYBF. Mm -hmm. We have since rebranded ourselves. We're called Futurepreneur Canada. So it's future without the E, oh, preneur. Okay. So it's it's a little bit of a mouthful, but yeah. if, you, if you still go to CYBF, <laughs> okay. uh, you can find us. And what we do is we give unsecured, no collateral loans to young people between 18 and 39. There you go. So hopefully you have, you do have so much information to give us. And now if you want more information, go check out these links. We'll put them up in just a bit. Um, you are good enough. We're gonna find out more right after this. I'm your host, Dana Foster. You can follow us on Twitter at IC underscore strength and me, IC underscore Dana. And you can go to Facebook at Independent Chick. I want to know, what are you doing for planning for the future? What are your financial plans, savings? Where are you with your finances? Let us know on social media, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Follow us now and let us know where you're at with your finances and how you're taking charge. We'll be right back right after this. Yeah.